Ever wondered what lies behind the heart-shaped chocolates and romantic dinners of Valentine's Day? Well, let's delve into the intriguing history of this widely celebrated day of love and affection. As it turns out, the origins of Valentine's Day might be more complex than just a simple exchange of love notes and roses. Our journey begins in the ancient city of Rome with a festival called Lupercalia. Picture this. A wild, raucous celebration in mid-February involving animal sacrifices and, believe it or not, the whipping of women with animal hides to promote fertility. Quite a far cry from the romantic candlelit dinners we associate with the 14th of February, wouldn't you say? But the story doesn't end there. With the rise of Christianity, the church sought to replace the pagan festival of Lupercalia with a more palatable celebration. Enter St. Valentine's Day, a day dedicated to love and romance, or so we thought. But did you know that the saint this day is named after is shrouded in mystery? There were many martyrs named Valentine, and the one who gave his name to this holiday is as elusive as love itself. Moving forward in time, we land in the Roaring Twenties, where Valentine's Day took a rather dark turn. The St. Valentine's Day Massacre of 1929 saw seven mob associates brutally gunned down in Chicago. Love certainly wasn't in the air that day. But don't let these historical tidbits sour your opinion of Valentine's Day. Today, the holiday has evolved into a celebration of love in all its forms, from romantic relationships to friendships, and even the bond between humans and their pets. From heart-shaped pizzas to gifts that show our love for our furry friends, Valentine's Day is a time to express our affection for those we hold dear. So, Valentine's Day might not be as sweet and fluffy as you thought, huh? But no matter how you choose to celebrate, remember that at the heart of this day is love, in all its beautiful, complex and sometimes puzzling forms. Let's dive deeper into the mystery of who the real Saint Valentine was. Now, you might think that there's one clear-cut Saint Valentine, but just like a good love story, there's always a twist. Picture this, it's the third century, and there are several Christian martyrs floating around with the name Valentine. Yes, you heard it right, several. First, we have Valentine of Rome, a priest who was known for his kindness and compassion. Yet his story takes a tragic turn when he's beheaded for his Christian faith. Another contender is Valentine of Terni, a bishop who, surprise, surprise, also meets a similar fate. Coincidence? Maybe. Or perhaps it's a case of mistaken identity. There's even a tale about a Valentine who helped Christians escape harsh Roman prisons where they were beaten and tortured. One story tells of him sending the first Valentine greeting himself. While in prison, it is believed that Valentine fell in love with a young girl, possibly his jailer's daughter, who visited him during his confinement. Before his death, he wrote her a letter, which he signed, from your Valentine, an expression we still use today. And then we have a Valentine, who was said to have been killed in Africa, along with 24 soldiers. But beyond this, nothing more is known about him or his companions. Confused yet? Well, you're not alone. Even the Catholic Church isn't sure. They recognized at least three different saintly men named Valentine or Valentinus, all of whom were martyred in their list of saints. So who was the real Saint Valentine? Was he a priest, a bishop, a helpful Samaritan or a romantic at heart? The truth is, we may never know. The stories are many and varied, and like a jigsaw puzzle with missing pieces, we may never see the complete picture. So the true identity of Saint Valentine remains uncertain, much like the complexities of love itself. Now let's take a dark turn and explore the Saint Valentine's Day Massacre. Ah, the Roaring Twenties, a time of jazz, flappers and, well, notorious gang violence. One such event, etched deeply into the annals of history, occurred on a day we now associate with roses and candlelit dinners. It was the day of St. Valentine in the year 1929 in the heart of Chicago. The city was gripped by a fierce gang war between two infamous figures of the underworld, Al Capone and George Bugs Moran. The stakes were high, the tension palpable, and the city streets were a far cry from the romantic idol we think of today. Instead of exchanging love letters, these mobsters were exchanging gunfire. The St. Valentine's Day Massacre, as it came to be known, was an audacious, daylight assassination attempt on Bugs Moran by Al Capone's gang. Dressed as policemen, Capone's men lined up seven members of Moran's gang against a garage wall and brutally gunned them down. The irony of such a violent act occurring on what we consider the most romantic day of the year is not lost. It's a stark contrast to the images of Cupid and heart-shaped chocolates that fill our minds and shop windows today. 
It was a bloody affair that left an indelible mark on the history of Valentine's Day, turning it into a day of infamy, at least in the world of organized crime. It's interesting to note how the meaning of a day can differ so vastly based on perspective. For most, it's a day of love, of expressing affection, of sweet whispers and softer moments. But for those involved in the St. Valentine's Day Massacre, it was a day of treachery, violence and death. And so, as you sip your champagne and exchange gifts with your beloved this Valentine's Day, spare a thought for the darker side of this holiday. A side that reminds us that even on a day dedicated to love, the human capacity for violence and hatred managed to leave its mark. Quite a bloody affair for a day associated with love, wouldn't you agree? But it's not all gloom and doom. Let's look at how some of us celebrate Valentine's Day with our furry friends. You know, it's funny how we humans have a knack for including our pets in just about everything we do. And Valentine's Day, it seems, is no exception. For some of us, our pets are our companions, our confidants, our best friends. So why should they miss out on the love fest? It's not just about the heart-shaped dog treats or the Valentine's Day themed cat toys. It's about spending that extra quality time with our pets, showing them how much they mean to us. It's about taking them for that longer walk, letting them have that extra playtime, or simply snuggling up on the couch for a movie night. And it's not just dogs and cats who are getting in on the Valentine's Day action. From rabbits to birds to fish and reptiles, pets of all shapes and sizes are feeling the love. Some pet parents even go to the extent of throwing Valentine's Day parties for their pets, complete with party hats, decorations, and of course, pet-friendly treats. Then there are those who take it a step further. Pet-friendly spa treatments, anyone? Yes, you heard that right. Some pet owners treat their furry friends to a spa day on Valentine's, complete with massages, grooming, and even aromatherapy. But perhaps the most heartwarming aspect of pet love on Valentine's Day is when people choose this day to adopt a pet. Shelters across the globe report an increase in adoptions around this time of year. After all, what better way to celebrate love than by giving a loving home to a pet in need? So, whether it's a pampering session, a special treat, or even a new home, Valentine's Day is a day to celebrate love in all its forms. And when it comes to our pets, that love is unconditional, pure, and incredibly special. Who said love was only for humans? Now let's delve into some of the more creative expressions of love. You see, the language of love is not confined to words or cliched presence. It's about expressing the feelings in a way that resonates with your beloved. And sometimes that can take a rather unconventional form. Take, for instance, the idea of naming a star. Yes, you heard it right. Some starry-eyed romantics choose to name a celestial body after their loved ones. Imagine gazing up at the night sky, knowing there's a star out there bearing your name. It's an eternal symbol of love, shimmering in the cosmos. Then there are those who prefer to keep their feet firmly on the ground, expressing their affection through adopting animals. Be it a penguin in Antarctica or an elephant in Africa, these adoptions often contribute to conservation efforts. It's a gift that says, I love you and the planet we share. But the creativity doesn't stop there. How about a piece of land on the moon or a tree planted in your loved one's name? Perhaps a personalized comic book where you and your partner are the superheroes saving the world one romantic adventure at a time. Some couples even go the extra mile, literally, by gifting each other experience-based presents. It could be a hot air balloon ride, a cooking class, or a trip to a vineyard. After all, shared experiences can create memories that last a lifetime, much longer than a box of chocolates or a bouquet of flowers. Unconventional, yes. Memorable, absolutely. These unique gifts are a testament to the fact that love is not one size fits all. It's as diverse and varied as the people who feel it. And when it comes to celebrating Valentine's Day, there's no rule book that says you have to stick to tradition. So, when it comes to expressing love, the sky is truly the limit. Whether it's a star in the cosmos or an adventure on Earth, these gifts show that love knows no bounds and creativity knows no limits. And isn't that what Valentine's Day is all about? Not everyone is head over heels for Valentine's Day, though. As the sea of red hearts and cuddly teddy bears take over the shelves, it's easy to forget that not everyone is swept up in the romantic wave. For some, Valentine's Day is less about roses and romance and more about celebrating independence and individuality. Enter Singles Awareness Day, a cheeky nod to those who find themselves without a significant other on February 14th. 
This alternative celebration is for everyone who wants to push back against the societal and commercial pressures to be in a relationship. Singles Awareness Day isn't about wallowing in loneliness, oh no, it's about embracing the freedom and independence that comes with being single. It's a day to celebrate self-love, friendship, and the joys of being unattached. So how does one celebrate? Well, the options are as varied and individual as the celebrants themselves. Some choose to gather their fellow single friends for a night of fun and camaraderie. Others might treat themselves to a day of self-care and indulgence. And then there are those who use the day to protest the over-commercialization of love. They argue that love, in its purest form, cannot be bought or sold. It cannot be wrapped in shiny paper or expressed through a factory-made card. For them, Singles Awareness Day is a chance to push back against the consumer-driven narrative of Valentine's Day and to reclaim the meaning of love. But whether it's a celebration of singlehood or a protest against commercialization, the message of Singles Awareness Day remains the same. Love comes in many forms and it doesn't always need to involve a romantic partner. So this Valentine's Day, whether you're single or coupled up, remember to celebrate love in all its forms. Because who said you need a partner to celebrate love? Finally, let's take a trip around the world and explore how different cultures celebrate Valentine's Day. The day of love might be universal, but how it's celebrated certainly isn't. Over in Denmark, it's all about the language of flowers, but not in the way you might think. Danes exchange pressed white flowers called snowdrops instead of the classic red roses. They also pen funny little poems or love notes known as gekkebrev. And if the recipient guesses the sender correctly, they get an Easter egg later in the year. Talk about playing the long game. Down in South America, Argentina takes a whole week to celebrate love during Sweetness Week in July. Friends and lovers exchange kisses for sweets, making it a toothsome treat of a tradition. In South Korea, the 14th of every month marks a love-related day. But the one that stands out is Black Day in April, when solo dwellers gather to eat black noodles and celebrate their single status. It's a day of camaraderie and heartening solidarity, proving that you don't need a partner to enjoy the day. Meanwhile, in Wales, St. Dwynwyn's Day in January is when Welsh lovers exchange unique gifts of hand-carved wooden spoons, symbolising their affection and commitment. It's a tradition that dates back to the 17th century, showing that love truly stands the test of time. In the Philippines, Valentine's Day is a popular day for mass weddings, where hundreds, sometimes even thousands of couples tie the knot in unison, turning personal love into a communal celebration. And let's not forget Ghana, the world's second largest exporter of cocoa. They celebrate National Chocolate Day on February 14th, promoting their chocolate industry and making the day a deliciously rich affair. So, from black noodles to mass weddings, to wooden spoons and snowdrops, Valentine's Day traditions around the globe are as varied as they are fascinating. Valentine's Day, it seems, is as diverse as love itself. So there you have it, folks. Valentine's Day, a day so rich and diverse, it transcends the simple exchange of roses and chocolates. We've journeyed from the ancient Roman festival of Lupercalia, traced the hazy origins of the elusive St. Valentine, to the dark corners of the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. We've seen how love extends beyond humans to our furry friends, explored the world of unconventional gifts, and even dabbled in the realm of anti-Valentine's Day celebrations. We've taken a global tour of unique traditions, like South Korea's Black Day, unveiling the multifaceted nature of this holiday. But through it all, one thing remains constant, the universal language of love. So whether you're celebrating with a special someone or embracing the strength of your independence, remember this. There's something for everyone on this day of love. Happy Valentine's Day.